Hello kid. Well, I'm sure you love to run around and play around, right? But what about your plant friends? Can they move? Can they travel? Not really. But you will be surprised to know that the seeds from which we get plants actually travel. Shocked? Let me tell you how they do that. Let's see over here. This is a family, right? Who stays in this house. Now, what if more people come in? Like there are around many families staying in the same house. What will happen? Well, the place will get overcrowded, right? It will be difficult to stay. So, it will be better if each family stays in a separate house a little far from each other. Similarly, if you see over here, all the trees have grown in the same place. What happened over here? Well, they all got overcrowded. They cannot get the proper amount of sunlight or the other things that are required by the plants. So, overcrowding is not good. So, what happens when it is very, very crowded? Well, the family moves a little far and then get settled. So, similarly, as I told you, the seeds of the plants as well, they travel. And what are they traveling known as? It's known as dispersal. So, what is dispersal? Dispersal means traveling of seed. Seeds get dispersed. Now, if we have to travel from one place to another, we take the help of various kinds of transport. So, what are the different transport that we avail? Well, they are the trains, helicopter, ship and also we take help of the animals like the horse cart and the bullock cart. So, with the help of these different kinds of transport, we travel from one place to another. And these transport, if you see, are on land, air, water, as well as it is helped by the animals. In the similar way, if you see, there are various modes of dispersal. That is, seeds also travel with the help of different things, like animals, water, wind and birds. Now, which type of transport do we like to avail? Obviously, the mode of transport that is available near to us. For example, now if we stay in a place where trains are readily available, then we avail the train and go from one place to another. Similarly, if we get bus or bicycle or a boat if it's near a water body. So, all of these transport are depending on the place where we stay. Similarly, for seeds as well, these different modes of transport depend on the availability. See, over here we see the dispersal by animals. Do you know what is this plant? Well, it is known as xanthium. And the seed of xanthium has got these hook like structures. These are the hooks. And how do they help the seed? Well, they stick to the animal body and gets dispersed. Because if you see these plants are very short. So, the readily available mode for dispersal are the animals. So, these seeds which have hook like structures get attached on the animal body. So, in this way, these seeds get dispersed from one place to another. Now comes the dispersal by wind. What do you think is the main thing that is required if it has to be dispersed by wind? Well, it has to be very, very light. If you see over here, these are the fruits containing seed. So, this seed has got these thin hair-like structures which make it light and help it to fly. Just like over here you can see the people are flying with the help of this. So, there is another way as well. 
other than these hair like structures there are some fruits which contain the seed and have got wings see these are the wing like structure which helps it to fly just like an aeroplane so this is how these seeds which are light in weight and have got these kind of features like wings get dispersed by wind now if you see coconut trees you can find a lot of them near the beach well this is a coconut now it has to get dispersed from one place to another so what do you think is the readily available mode for dispersal well it is the water so a coconut gets dispersed by water because it is light and it can float on the water so this is how the seed travels from one place to another now there are some seeds which are fleshy and birds love them like the berries so after having the fleshy part the birds disperse the seeds so in this way these kind of plants like berries get dispersed by birds so i have a question for you which of the following modes is not used for dispersal of seeds option 1 birds option 2 water or option 3 pus let me tell you we have just seen that the edible seeds are dispersed by the birds so this is a wrong option even we also saw that the coconut gets dispersed by the water because it is light and it can float on water so water is also a wrong option so what is the correct option it is the bus bus is used by us human beings to travel from one place to another and not by the seed for dispersal so my dear kid what have we learned so far what are the different modes of dispersal of a seed well the seeds get dispersed by wind water birds and animals so all of these means help in traveling of the seed which is known as dispersal from one place to another so that we can have plants all around us and not in one place uh, so if the seeds want the adequate amount of sunlight and other essential things which are required for their growth in the form of plants well seeds need to get dispersed and these are the different modes of dispersal wind water animals and birds